what's good y'all this is boy ross back at again with another video so your boy has finally did it i think all of us expected it to happen gunther has finally broken the record of wwe's longest intercontinental champion of all time and i think a lot of us can agree that is rightfully deserved the guy has put the intercontinental championship back into the limelight where it belongs um it, it's been quite some time since we've had an intercontinental champion that feels this important he makes the championship seem like the most important championship in the company um it's always been uh coined as the workhorse championship and he has been putting in fantastic matches to retain and defend that title so congratulations to gunther aka walter for getting that momentous uh achievement we're gonna check out this article from uh inside the ropes man this is just fantastic and i, I think a lot of us expected this to happen um so we're gonna check this out uh gunther has officially overtaken though the hunky tonk man as wwe longest reigning intercontinental champion of all time it's a record that stood for a staggering 35 years mammoth names in the sport of professional wrestling have held the intercontinental title including stone cold steve austin the rock and roman reigns even though you know <laughs> i don't think many people remember uh roman reigns's uh intercontinental uh championship run <laughs> but none could surpass the honky tonk man's lengthy reign it was a 1987's episode of superstars of wrestling where the honky tonk man defeated ricky steamboat for the wwf intercontinental championship his record setting reign extended into 1988 when the ultimate warrior eventually stopped him in just 31 seconds at SummerSlam. that's crazy a legendary reign ends in 31 seconds that's crazy overall the hunky tonk man record sat for sat at 454 days that's until today when the current intercontinental champion gunther has officially reached the 455th day uh with the strap it has uh, not been an easy road for gunther to reach the milestone since defeating ricochet on july 10th uh of june 20 uh 22 edition of smackdown gunther has successfully defended the championship on 67 occasions if you count the households okay i was about to say damn <laughs> i didn't know it was 67 occasions but if you count the house shows that makes sense <laughs> damn that's it's a lot of defenses names like Rey mysterio shinsuke nakamura and most recently chad gable he's had some fantastic matches with him have attempted to defeat gunther for the title along the way but the ring general has dispatched them one by one defiantly earning the right to become the longest reigning intercontinental champion of all time there's no there are no signs of his reign coming to an end either uh either gunther defeated chad gable in a 16 minute epic on this week's monday night raw he now awaits his next challenger safe in the knowledge uh safe in the knowledge that with every day he holds on to the intercontinental championship a new record is set this isn't gunther's only longest reign for those who don't know it is often forgotten that gunther isn't just the longest reigning intercontinental champion back in 2019 when he wrestled under the name uh under the name walter he defeated p dunn for the wwe united kingdom championship walter would hold uh hold the championship for 870 days before losing it to iliana drag iliana I, can, I can i always mess up his name Ilya Ilya dragonoff I think I still mispronounced it. At NXT TakeOver 36, fantastic match. Got a chance to watch that. Just five-star classic. His reign uh, was record-setting and will seemingly remain that way as the belt uh, was unified with the NXT Championship in 2022. But yeah, man. Uh, this... The guy deserves it, bro. He's putting on some of the best work. <laughs> uh we've seen um in wwe at least on the main roster dude's just his work rate is fantastic dude came in vince was wanted to see what he can do but he wanted him to lose weight he lost the weight 
came in, did what Vince asked him to do, and they put the they put the strap on him. I mean, Vince put the strap on him, I believe, before he left. That he was the Intercontinental Champion before he left. Uh, before he, quote unquote, re uh, retired. Vince retired and then he came back. But, man, this is fantastic. And this is how you need to book Gunther. It's simple. He's he's a guy that barely loses. He is. He has not been. Uh, I don't think he's taken a pinfall. Yeah, he hasn't taken a pinfall loss on the main roster. And I think whenever he does, it needs to be to somebody that they're gonna have, you know, be the next guy up in the mid card to division. The guy is a formidable opponent. One thing I like about his title reign is he doesn't need to cheat to win, and I can appreciate that. It's okay if a heel does cheat to win. But it makes it even better when they just beat out the babyface clean. Because then it's like, damn, he he's just he's just better than him at that moment. And when they do cheat, it gives that it gives the cheating factor that that extra extra uh, oomph to it, or or it enhances the babyface's story, um, their fight because it's like, damn, Walter, not Walter, Gunther had to cheat to finally beat this person like he couldn't beat him on his own which makes the baby face look that much stronger that a a strong heel had to resort to anything to finally beat that person so and we haven't seen him on television have to really resort to cheating as much he can literally beat people clean and i appreciate that he'll he'll sit he'll tell his his uh imperium brother brethren to go in the back I can take care of this and i love that he's down to fight whenever whoever he doesn't care and i appreciate that i appreciate it honestly i i just don't see you i don't see him dropping that title for a while i don't see anybody um i i, I was thinking maybe chad gable at some point but they may have to revisit that later down the road but honestly he's beaten <laughs> damn near almost everybody so i don't i don't Right now, I can't see anybody taking that off him. I know some people are like Jay. And it's like, mm, I think the story with Jay, if he was to do that, that would be very interesting. And it's just the timing with that. I don't think Jay should come in and just beat him, per se. Because I know they're trying to build up something for WrestleMania. Obviously, Jay versus Jimmy at WrestleMania. That's the story that they're going to want to tell. So you don't really have... Unless you have him win relatively soon, Jay win relatively soon, only for him to have a, a short title reign, unless the Intercontinental Championship will be on the line between the brothers, which I don't think a title should be on the line for the brothers to have a match at WrestleMania. So that's why I say timing wise, I don't know if I would go with Jay to, to be the one to dethrone Roman. Would that be impressive? I mean, that would be. I mean, his record uh, precedes him. He's the only one that's pinned Roman Reigns <laughs> in the past three years. So if there's anybody that could get the job done, maybe Jay. He, he, he's on a streak of pinning people that don't get pinned that much. So I don't know. It'd be quite interesting to see if that is the situation that goes forward. But honestly, if, as it stands right now, I think Gunther is in a great position. I don't think he should be losing it anytime soon. That's just my personal opinion. Um, outside of maybe Jay, but that's they have they would have to build up to that. I don't I don't think that should be rushed. But right now, Gunther is doing some some great, fantastic work. Most of his Intercontinental Championship matches are damn near best of the show, highlight of the show, must watch. It's rare that you see a match from Gunther that you just it's boring. Like he knows how to make the baby faces look good he knows how to you know sell he knows how to make things look believable and the dude legitimately is out there beating the crap out of people and it's entertaining as hell his matches are brutal entertaining and he's he will go down as one of the greatest intercontinental champions of all time and it, it, we are we are truly blessed and lucky to be able to say if there's anybody that deserves a long title reign, a lengthy title reign, and has been putting that Intercontinental Championship in those matches for all of us to see and been putting in the great work, if there's anybody that deserves it, it's Gunther, man. So congratulations to him. Looking forward to seeing how long this record 
uh how long uh this record stands i think it's gonna stand for a while depending on how long he holds it he may hold it for uh as long as his nxt um uh his uh united kingdom championship he may hold it just as long as that so and it may never get broken because i don't see nobody <laughs> for a long time breaking <laughs> uh, this record you know it, it, the record has stood the test of time for almost 30 plus years so i don't see anyone's breaking this for a very long time nor should they so it's gunther he's he's a legit as they come when it comes to the wrestling world man so comment down below let me know what's your favorite gunther match um while he's had the intercontinental championship what's your favorite match from him while he's had the intercontinental championship but i appreciate all the love and support road to 150k and i'm still young to be the youtube wrestling champion of the world appreciate y'all kicking me see y'all next one peace